Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about how to create a G flange where I can use flange length up to the edge and merge the two base flanges. So this is the component I am going to create and see in the right side the final component and the, the yellow portion of the flange is edge flange. So I am going to use here flange length up to the edge. See this is the component. I'm going to create. I've taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the top plane. Taken center rectangle. This is 120, and this is 80. to sheet metal module base flange so here i have taken 2 mm and k factor is 0.45 so i am going to create plane from the parallel to top plane so select the top plane go to features select the plane so here i am going to take 50 mm offset distance say ok now select this plane, go to sketch, keep it in wireframe. Here I am going to take offset and select the top face. So I have to keep it in a reverse direction. Here I am going to take 20 mm and say OK. So I will keep it in solid and isometric. See this is the sketch. Now I am going to create base flange once again. See here with 2 mm and k factor is 0.45 and say OK. So I am going to hide this plane now. Now I am going to create this edge flange. Select the edge flange and select this edge and drag down instead of blind select up to edge and merge so we have to select this option so we don't have to select any angle or any distance so it doesn't highlight also so now we have to select this top edge see it is automatically taking see usually it takes material inside see here when I create material inside, this it material is going to remove. So to avoid such problem, I am going to select bend outside. See here. See, this is the final component. So when I make the flat pattern, it looks like this. When I keep it in top view, see this is how, how it lo looks like. So this uh, option is mostly useful while we are making any new product during product development and uh, in general practice we usually make only one base flange but in this condition we have to create two base flanges. So this is one of the example for using flange length up to edge and merge to the other base flange. Thanks for watching.